Well, I've got a couple day break here in between trips to Alaska, and it is that time of year in Michigan to where deer are starting to chase. Got an afternoon, I'm gonna sneak out here on my home property. So I'm literally gonna be hunting right next to my driveway about 45 yards off. Getting out plenty early, there's a 10 point and a big eight point right along the lakeshore of Lake Michigan here that I've been watching on trail cam all year. I actually saw one this morning while I was driving my kids out to school across the driveway. So hoping he's still around and chasing this afternoon. I'm actually gonna have my daughter, Michelle, drive me out and drop me off. And then she's gonna come after dark and pick me up. So hopefully that just acts like another car on our driveway and keeps everything normal. But, and I love this time of year in Michigan. Shelly is driving me out to the tree stand here at the house. I'm gonna do a drop off and then come pick me up after dark. I'm trying to simulate cars on our driveway going back and forth. The shooter's going crazy in the background. So Shelly's off. I'm sneaking into the stand here. Literally, it is right off my driveway, so I see these deer all the time, hoping this drop-off plan works. All right, so I'm driving back home from picking up my kids from school and literally I look over off my driveway about 60 yards underneath a pine tree and I see that same 10 point that I saw last night in the stand and he's bedded right there. And it's light snowing, wind is awful for literally every stand that I have on the property tonight. So I wasn't gonna go out. I'm gonna get a little, little crazy. I'm gonna try to stalk up on this deer where I can get coming downwind to where he's at and stay in some thick stuff. He's still got another hour, hour and a half, maybe two before he gets on his feet and starts moving today. I did see there were two other does there, so it's gonna be a little difficult, but it's better than nothing. We're gonna give it a shot. Now, I don't have a cameraman with me right now, so I am gonna try my best to hook a GoPro to me, actually two of them, and see how this turns out. And that's being optimistic. Chances are this footage will never be seen anyway because I won't be successful and there's no reason to show it then. All right, here it goes. I got my crossbow. I am going to see if he's still there first. So we're gonna hit the truck. Driveway is about a mile and a half. Cruise, cause he's used to traffic on there is my mindset right now. And if he's there, I'll go all the way to the end of the driveway, turn around, come right back. And there's a spot I can park before I get to my house. And there's actually a trail that I can take if he's still in the same spot. Uh, but later, this is the setup right here. So I've got, I don't think I'll be able to use that, but I've got this on me. Yeah. I don't think there's any other way I can, I can do it. Yeah. Ooh, he's still there. He's still there. Underneath that pine tree. He is underneath that pine tree. So he is still bedded there, underneath the pine tree. Ah, with his head north, because he's got the wind coming at him, which is perfect for me coming from the south. And there is a 
spot that we actually cleared that we run our UTVs on to run our dogs. Oh man, there are deer everywhere. Um, that I'll be able to go up the back side of that. There are deer on my food plot. That's where I sat last night. So I'm going to go up the rest of the driveway here, turn around quick just to make sure he's still there again. Nah, I'm not going all the way up the driveway. I'm going to turn right here. northeast and the leaves are super loud but I'm trying to hurry cut the distance down before I start the stealth mode so what I've got right now chesty I'll leave on mission crossbow just a flashback reminder I tore my rotator cuff about six weeks ago so I am not pulling a regular bow back right now so we're going crossbow Truthfully, I don't know if it's good or bad for this operation. If it's easier to go with a compound bow, at some point in time, I'm going to have to crawl, or at some point in time, I'm going to have to pull this one back and get her cocked and loaded, but not quite yet. logging road that I got off and I'm gonna follow it here because there's grass so there shouldn't be as loud for the leaves but I'm gonna get my crossbow locked and loaded right now and I don't know how much I'll be able to use this camera in my in my hand probably go chesty the majority of the time
it just worked. I, uh, I crawled up probably another 30 yards and he was right in 40 and of course I forgot my freaking range finder. But I guessed him at 40 and he was just bedded there. But moving, stood up and as soon as he stood up, oh, I think the shot was good. I think the shot was good. Oh, I think the shot was good. Oh, there I was. Set up right here. I was bedded by that pine. Stood up. Oh, the cluster, I didn't see him. I didn't see him at first when I got here because there was another little tree in the way. And then all of a sudden the wind stopped and I was definitely making too much noise. He stood up, but he didn't know what it was and just hesitation, but I went to shoot and I'd never shot in, or I've never shot my crossbow with the arrows on before and they were right next to my head. Um, so I had to take those off and of course that was, uh, didn't do it very good. I am. I can't believe that worked. It is 4.35. What time did I say we left the house? What time did I say we left the house? 4.10. So it's been 25 minutes since we left the house. We got back about four. So I saw him the first time a little bit before three. So in 40 minutes, I saw this deer from last night off the side of my driveway, bedded down, hurried back, had my stuff changed, rocking this, oh, GoPro still on. I don't know what that's gonna be. I had the GoPro on my chest. Even if this doesn't turn out to be anything, it's still awesome. I'm gonna get my bow and I'm backing out of here. I know exactly where I shot. I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it plenty of time. I keep replaying it through my head. And I think I hit just a little bit back, but and there's he stumbled as he was getting out of here. I'm just gonna give it a little bit of time. So just got back to the truck. I'm gonna wait another 20 and then go start looking. I keep replaying in my head. And man, you always start to doubt yourself after it happens, but I think it may have hit just a little bit back, but he was stumbling when he took off. I could only see him for about 30 yards and then I lost sight of him. So we're gonna wait it out here, 20 minutes, then go, I'm gonna pull the truck up to where I think he I think I know where the shot was at, so I'm gonna pull the truck up to where I know where the shot was and it's only a little bit walking in. Good news is not raining, nothing like that. Leaves are on the ground, there's nothing where he's at, so if I hit him, it'll be a good blood trail. I know you won't be able to see him, but I had this chesty on the whole time when I was crawling and stalking and walking like a briars all over my, oh, son of a I got a tick on me. One of the joys of Michigan and crawling. Oh. Sucker. I am 99.9% .9 sure that was the 10 point that I saw last night and had him about 53 yards. As you can see, got my truck behind me. He was literally right next to the road in this cluster of pine trees. I shot from over there, right there. And he was bedded right underneath this tree. Oh, I can see some scuff marks in the trees, or in the leaves. I see scuff marks in the leaves. So, I haven't found any blood yet, but there are a whole bunch of leaves that got flipped over. I've seen where he's kicked up twice. He got blood. got the first blood looks like lung blood it does look a little like it may have been back a little bit but there's definitely lung blood there I can see where he's kicked up so I'm gonna follow this trail there's blood <gasps> there he is oh he didn't go 100 yards oh there he is Um, he didn't go a hundred yards. Man, shot was 
in the lungs, but definitely a little bit back. All right. This is the deer from last night. West Michigan, 10, maybe an 11 point if you count, count that bad boy off the brow. But that is awesome. Oh, well, found him. That is sweet. So I've been watching this deer on trail cam actually all summer long. And I've got a few pics of them both on the Exodus and Cabela's trail cams. I've got on my property at home, I think eight different trail cams set up. And we're right off the backside of a lake and right next to Lake Michigan. So it's kind of a natural funnel. We did a big clear cut and trees in here because there were a bunch of diseases that came through and took out the beach and so forth. So it's it's been, let's see, five years since we did that. So everything's super, super thick in here. Put in a couple food plots. This is year two on the food plots. And anyway, bottom line, it just attracts a bunch of does. And usually early summer, I see bucks on trail cam, then they disappear because there's a bunch of cornfields about a mile away. And I'm of the mindset, as soon as those cornfields get cut, all the bucks start coming onto my property because I hold the does the majority of the year. And this guy showed back up. There's also another big eight point I was after, but I had this guy last night in my tree stand. He was coming on a line to the food plot where I was sitting, but the wind swirled right when he was about 55 yards away and he stood behind a tree forever. And I tried to get it focused on the camera, but just struggled. Anyway, started moving and there was no way he was coming to the food plot after that, but he was broadside walking left to right. And by the time I got set up, ranged him, he was 53 yards and I couldn't get set up to make the shot before he just walked off. Now, I knew he didn't go very far because again, there are a bunch of does and this guy smells ruddy. It is early rut and he's ready to go. I can't believe that worked. I always kept telling people I could, I'd try stalking deer when I'd see them on my driveway and they'd say I'm crazy. My driveway is a mile and a half long and there are deer literally everywhere. I mean, you see deer on my driveway all year long and saw this guy, made the stalk on him, went back through and I know the property like the back of my hand, which allows it. Dang. This is awesome. I was born and raised in West Michigan, right where I call home today, and I don't see myself ever moving. And the series Homegrown is all about that, hunting where I'm from. And everybody can relate to that is going out your back door. I'm fortunate enough to travel all over the world, wing shooting, big game hunting, archery, muzzleloader, rifle, you name it. And that's, I am beyond blessed to do that and have a family that accepts my travel. But <laughs> there is something, it doesn't, it never gets old and it's tough to beat taking a deer on your home property. You ready, boss? Mm -hmm. Dressed up to take pics? Mm -hmm. Dressed up to take pics? Got my hat on. Yeah? Why? This is my lovely wife. She's here to take pictures. You just realized you're being camera'd, huh? I love you. Oh, there it is. <laughs> able to stalk in got to just I, I arranged it after the fact just over 45 yards of course in the rush I forgot my range finder at the house um, I ranged him at 40 worked out pretty darn good um, at the angle entrance was good and ended up looks like I took out both of his lungs and holy smokes I can't believe it worked homegrown my place in Michigan I love it leaves are changing you can't beat this